Welcome to the Pacific Ocean, along the west coast of North America. The Kwakiutl lived in what is now British Columbia, Canada. They were known for their great woodworking skills and their love of a ceremony called the potlatch. This ceremonial feast was a way to show off a tribe's wealth and reaffirm their social standing. The Kwakiutl believe that a rich and powerful person is someone who gives the most away. The potlatch involved months of prep work with everybody carving, making blankets, hunting and fishing. During the potlatch, they would give away everything they made. The Kwakiutl lived between the Pacific Ocean and the thick forests of the mainland. Living so near the ocean, rivers and forests, they had access to a great number of resources available to them. The temperate climate means the weather was fairly predictable. They had mild summers and winters with some rainy periods. The ocean provided the Kwakiutl with an almost endless supply of food. In addition to readily available fish and shellfish, they also hunted seals, whales, and otters. The ocean also provided a variety of seabirds. From the forests, the Kwakiutl people were able to hunt for moose, deer, bear, and beaver, and harvest berries and roots. Spiritual beliefs prevented them from hunting wolves, cougars, and coyotes. This provided a great supply of not only food, but skins and furs for other uses. All the food resources provided a surplus that could be preserved and eaten during the winter. The Kwakiutl perfected the method of smoking meats over cedar fires, which would keep for many months. The ability to preserve a good supply of food allowed the Kwakiutl to spend their winters indoor carving masks, totems, and other items. Because of the abundant supply of food, the Kwakiutl did not need to become farmers or nomadic people. They only went inland far enough to hunt, which meant they could build permanent homes, unlike the mobile teepees of the Blackfeet or the seasonal wigwams of the Menominee. Wood was an important resource for the Kwakiutl, both to survive and as part of their culture. The forest provided the Kwakiutl with a limitless supply of fir and cedar trees. The wood from these trees was highly valued for usefulness and long life. Cedar is rot and bug resistant, lightweight and easily carved. It made the perfect wood for home building. The Kwakiutl built long houses. These houses made of cedar logs and siding were meant to house multiple families of the same clan. Each family having their own living compartment, much like the Pueblo homes of the Hopi. Each longhouse would be painted on the outside to represent the clan that lived inside, in addition to often having a carved totem placed outside. Being master woodworkers, totem poles were not all the Kwakiutl carved. They also carved canoes and boats. These were carved from trees that could grow as high as 200 feet. Boats were made in a variety of sizes from two-man canoes to large hunting vessels up to 70 feet long. Just think, the longer the boat, the larger the fish. Whale, anyone? If you look in this display case, you can see many ceremonial wood masks carved by various Kwakiutl people. Each mask and its lore is owned by the individual families and passed down through the generations. These masks are carved and painted to represent ancestral spirits or supernatural beings. Some are hinged and open up. Others have additions like mirror, metal, or hair. Cedar wasn't only used for building and carving. The bark can be stripped into fine fiber threads. These fibers can then be woven into clothing, blankets, and hats. Today, the Kwakiutl live in what is Southwest Canada. They are active in reclaiming their rights as a First Nations people and have a website where you can learn more about their culture.